Ugh, Onision. I figured I would make another Onision video sometime in the future. Uh, when I made that first response video to him uh, almost a year back, I was like, yeah, I know, I'm probably going to be talking about this guy again, and here I am. A few days ago, he made a video uh, uh, calling out iDubs and talking about why he hates iDubs and all of iDubs' fans. <laughs> Just a desperate attempt to become relevant and maybe potentially get a, get a content cop on him, which I highly doubt is going to happen. I'm sure iDubs is smart enough to know that Onision just wants the attention, and he doesn't care what kind of attention it is. All publicity is good publicity to him, and I'm sure iDubs is smart enough to not give it to him, and I honestly don't even want to see an, an Onision content cop. I really don't. So anyways, I, uh, Onision called out iDubs for some very piss-poor reasons. It was such a stupid, stupid rant video. Anyways, Onision claims that iDubs is racist because he uses the word nigger, which, <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, Tana Ma uh, Mongu, I think her, na her last name is pronounced, uh, is, I think that's how her na last name is pronounced. Tana may uh, made the same exact point, and iDubs refuted it beautifully. Like, he uses that word as a joke. He never, he has nothing against black people, more than likely, and he's not a racist, alright? And uh, you people getting all riled up over him using the word nigger, I mean, I've never, like, Here's the, th here's the thing I find funny, though. Like, all these stupid white people are f getting so butthurt and so triggered and so offended over uh, him using the word nigger and a whole bunch of other YouTubers using that word. And they're white. Like, <laughs> you might say, oh, they're sticking up for, for black people. Well, most, most black people I've seen really give no fucks about it. Like, they don't at all. So why do you feel the need to defend a group of people that, for the most part, really don't care? I mean, you're giving the word the power that it shouldn't have, alright? The, the past is in the past. Most people are accepting now. They no, Most people aren't as racist as they were, say, 50 years ago. And times have changed, and yes, there are some racist pricks still out there, of course. That's never going to change, but... They're a minority now. They're laughed at. They're not the. They're not the huge majority that they were, of fifty some odd years ago. Even less. I mean, racism was prevalent until recent times, actually. And I'm actually glad people like iDubs are treating the word like a big joke because they're stifling the power that that word once had. And now people just use it for jokes, just for laughs, just for some offensive jokes that may or may not be funny, but whatever. They're still treating it like a joke, and they're not actually um, using it in a derogatory manner. Ta context matters, Onision. All right, I know that I know that's something that can't really get through to your thick skull, but still, is context does matter. The way iDubs uses the word is different from, say, a white person going up to a black person and saying, "You stupid fucking nigger." I mean, of course, in that context, it is hateful and derogatory, but the way iDubs uses it, it's just for jokes, it's just for laughs. He doesn't have any hate behind it, he's not using it in a derogatory manner. He's just using it for, like I said, jokes. And he also tried, and failed, to, to convince people that iDubs is a stalker. The reason he brought that up is because of the whole Tana Mongu situation, where iDubs went to her meetup and and said say nigger, and he tried, and Onision tries to say that that stuff was that stuff a stalker would do. <laughs> no, Onision, it's completely different. All right, he went to a public meetup. All right, where a ton of her fans w went, and again it was in a public area. If he went to Tana's house. Uh, and somehow found her address and, and information and stuff like that, then yeah, that would be stalking. But what iDubs did was not stalking. By your logic, Onision, that would mean all of her little fangirls who also went to that meetup were stalkers as well. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that sound stupid? A fan going to a meetup and that's somehow stalking. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic, Onision. I mean, really, you're trying so hard to make iDubs look as bad as possible, but you just can't because there's really nothing on iDubs to really be like, oh, look at how awful this person is because he hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything really horrible. Actually, he hasn't really done anything bad at all.
But all in all, Onisan's video was really just him bitching and moaning about him, his popularity being on the decline while I dubbed his skyrocketing to fame. And you can really sense the butt hurt and jealousy, honestly. Like, I don't like throwing the jealousy card all uh, a lot. Actually, I hate the jealousy card because usually it's just a, it's just a excuse, it's just something used to dismiss criticism. But really, Onision's main criticism in this video is just him being like, how can iDubs be popular and I can't? I mean, come on, how can you not call that jealousy? And he also condemns iDubs' fans for liking iDubs' content and thinking iDubs' content is funny. And he, and he says, oh, you're stupid, you're an idiot, uh, all, all of the sort. And honestly, Onision, fuck off, alright? Fuck off with that bullshit. Comedy is subjective. What, people fi what other people find funny, you may not find funny, alright? And as a comedian... I use that term loosely when it comes to you, but as a quote-unquote comedian, you should understand that. That is the same, uh, that is the same argument you, you, you use when you defend your shitty content. So how come people are not allowed to find iDubbbz's content funny? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> and you try to say, oh, iDubbbz is not funny, he, he relies on edgy humor, and tries to shock people, and stuff like that, and... Which is funny, like, it's really funny coming from you, Greg, because you've made content like this. I don't want to do that, can I? And this. Yes, Sharon, I did everything and he won't shut up! Please don't be mad, honey. I love you. Don't tell me not to be mad, Sharon! You're the one with that flavor ball of dicks! Honey! Don't you hurt me! Oh, God! Don't! Don't! No! I'd say those clips are way more edgy and shocking than anything iDubs has ever said or done. So anyways, um, yeah, Onision is mad at iDubs for being popular and that, well, he himself is losing relevancy. And, well, Onision, you really don't have anyone to blame but yourself. Yeah, sure, the ad apocalypse thing and all that, but you're going, you're going on blaming other YouTubers for this. And you even said PewDiePie is, the f is also at fault because he was racist against Jewish people and said that he, and Onision actually said that PewDiePie is a white supremacist and iDubbbz is a white supremacist. Why? Because they say mean things and they, he said that they look like white supremacists, uh, supremacists, which how the fuck do you look like a white supremacist? Like, I, I, I just don't get that. How do you look like one? That's, that, I, I don't know. But um, anyways, yeah, he, he said that PewDiePie's a racist, even though, you know, that's been hugely debunked. But, well, Onisan, I guess, is too stupid to look at evidence. But anyways, that's besides the point. Onisan, you really have no one to blame but yourself. I mean, you, you, people know who you are now. People know how you're like. Like, 
pretty much the whole YouTube community hates you. So many large YouTubers have gone against you and called you out for your bullshit. I mean, it's not these small-time ranters making videos about you anymore. You have these, you've had these really big names call you out and expose you for the scum that you are. And since pretty much the, almost the whole YouTube community hates you, you're, you're obviously not going to get that many views because people don't want to watch you. They don't care about you. You're old news. I mean, just a few months ago, it was exposed that you lock people up in your basement. At least that one girl. Who knows, there could be more that we just don't know about. But anyways, that whole drama happened, and so many people hated you for that. And they left you in droves, and now look... You only barely scrape above 50,000 views regularly now when one at one point you got you were able to like pull off what 200 to 300,000 views per video and also you're an old as fuck YouTuber you've been doing YouTube since what 2005 so yeah uh, uh, most YouTubers don't last that long, and eventually they start losing relevancy. Of course, not all. Some were a some old so old school YouTubers are able to maintain relevancy, but most of them end up fading into obscurity. And you're one of them because again, you're an old time YouTuber. People grow up and move on, and you appeal to teen girls. And what and uh, and people who appeal to teen girls usually end up being uh, end up being obscure and forgotten a few years down the road. And all those stupid teen emo girls you once had grew up and moved on from you and forgot about you because you appeal to that one demographic. And once that demographic grows up, they leave in droves, and you become irrelevant pretty much. And plus, you upload like four to five videos a day on what, your five channels that you own? Of course people are going to stop caring about you, because those are way too many videos to keep up with. I mean, Jesus Christ, slow down. You don't need to pump out video after video after video, alright? And this is something you criticize iDubs for, not for uploading every day, but for uploading like once or twice a month. Actually, I do like that iDubs uploads not very consistently because he because well it's quality over quantity for me you don't have to spam out videos to be a good youtuber you people like idub still maintain an audience of millions even if they don't upload all that often and this is something that a lot of big youtubers should take notes on you don't need to spam multiple videos a day to maintain your audience if anything that that alienates your audience that makes them want to leave you because People don't want to be bombarded by so much content. I mean, really. I used to upload, like, every single day. Sometimes even multiple times a day. And I stopped doing that because, well, one, I didn't even like doing that anyway. It was way too overwhelming for me. And two, I'm sure people didn't like that anyway. Like, I'm sure people were like, oh, Jesus Christ, he's uploading again. Another video by this guy. Whatever, I'm just going to skip it because I'm tired of seeing all, the, all these videos spanned by this guy. I mean, really, there's no harm in spacing out your videos and taking time on them. And instead, of, it, there's really no harm in doing that. It's better than spamming multiple videos a day. Anyways, um, he also criticizes iDubs for his editing. He, he complains about iDubs' poor editing when obviously the poor editing is just part of the gag of his videos. But, well, again, Onision is too dense to see something so obvious, so I wouldn't expect Onision to really be able to see that. And he also kind of goes after Filthy Frank in this video, too. He was like, I've been running around uh, uh, like an idiot in silly costumes way before Filthy Frank has. Well, Filthy Frank is actually talented and actually funny. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the reason why he's, a, he's skyrocketing in popularity as well, and you're not. <laughs> and you're acting like you're the first one to ever put on silly costumes and act like a fucking retard. Because you're not. You're far from the, from the first. Trust me, Onision. And I also hate the other videos he's been making recently about him selling his house, selling his cars, and trying to gain sympathy from the audience. Oh, shut the fuck up. We all know you're loaded, Greg. We all know that you have a lot of money, alright? So don't give us all this bullshit about you selling your house and having to get rid of a lot of your belongings because we're, not see we're able to see through the act, alright? We're not, we're not stupid. Okay, your audience is stupid, of course, because they watch you and actually believe the things you say, but most people in the YouTube community don't believe you and know that you're lying and just trying to gain sympathy from people. 
it's time to face reality, Onision. You had your time in the spotlight. You had your time where you were making like a million views a video. And that's over. It's, those days are probably never going to come back because you're pretty much a dead topic now. People are sick of you and people know, know you for the scumbag that you are. I mean, all you have is just your small, dwindling audience left. And who knows how long they'll stick with you. And attacking larger YouTubers like this is not going to do you any favors. If anything, it's going to make your situation even worse. It's going to make you look like an even more unlikable douche than you already were. And people are going to be like, uh, I'm so sick of this guy and I'm, I'm unsubscribing. This video is really stupid. I'm not going to support this guy anymore. It's, it's going to do, make your audience dwindle even more. And if one day you're, da you're lucky to even scrape 10,000 views, don't start crying and whining about it because it's all your fault. Sure, maybe YouTube might be at fault a little bit through this whole advertiser, th uh, advertiser boycott thing, but m I think most of it is your fault because of all the drama you've been in and all of the people you've attacked and really just being exposed for who you are. And it's also funny that you criticize iDubs for attacking YouTubers, yet you, you've been attacking a whole lot of popular YouTubers uh, as of recent, and have been attacking a plenty of smaller YouTubers as well. And, well, you, you're really not one to talk about, um, about how it's bad to attack other YouTubers because you're known to do that yourself. <laughs> What an airhead, honestly. Anyways, I'm glad Onision's popularity is dwindling, alright? Because it's some, uh, he, his popularity should have dwindled a long time ago. He never deserved any of the popularity he's gotten. And I'm so happy that it's finally fading away and his audience is finally leaving him. Look at his social blade. His stats are in the shitter, alright? They're, they're just in the toilet. And I'm so happy that it's happening to him because he's one of the people who deserved it the most, honestly. He, didn't, he never deserved any of the popularity he's gotten. And he, uh, uh, he definitely doesn't deserve the million plus, uh, his multiple million-plus sub-channels because he's an untalented hack. And you all know why Onision's such a horrible person. But um, yeah, I'm so glad. This couldn't have happened to anyone better. And, I'm so, and it makes me especially happy that he has... That, uh, it makes me especially happy watching his reaction to all this. Because it's just absolutely hilarious and so enjoyable. And I'm probably going to watch even more Onision videos where he bitches and moans about this. Because it's very funny and entertaining to me. I take pleasure out of this. <laughs> I'm a sadistic fuck, I know. And of course... I have ad block on when I watch these videos because I'm not going to let any money come from me and have this sick fuck earn from it through ad revenue. Of course not. Anyway, this video has dragged on long enough. That's all I have to say. Bye bye.